Today, let's talk about the top three reasons that you get rejected even though you did well in your interviews. I know a lot of us are very frustrated when you feel like, oh my God, I went into an interview, I had a great conversation with a hiring manager, but somehow I still get rejected. And many of you guys have this question. The reason you feel this is sometimes when it comes to applying to jobs, there are so many things that you cannot control. What you can control is the skills and an experience that you bring to the table, as well as what type of person you are. And the things that you cannot control are often, you know, the external environment, which are related to the company. So in this video, I'm going to break down the top three reasons that you still get rejected. And oftentimes these reasons are related to the company. The first and the most common reason is because you are not a cultural fit to the company. I know this can be a confusing term to a lot of students. So what does company culture exactly mean? It means the rule and the system and the feeling that you will get when you are working in a company. And the culture really represents how people behave, interact with each other, how the managers manage their teams, as well as how individuals contribute. Things like do they have a family vibe or do they prefer having more separated boundary between individuals. And the cultural fit is very important to a company because you can have the right skills, the right qualifications. But if your preferred way of working is different from what the company preferred way of working, then that is not a culture fit. So the culture varies largely depending on the industry of the company as well as the size of the company. And when you are applying to companies, you need to understand what kind of environment you will thrive in. Because sometimes if you are someone who loves following routine or orders, who loves sticking with similar things that you are doing, then it might not make sense for you to be put in a challenging and constantly firing environment. When there is no culture fit, what it also means to you is that if you do get a job, you know, you are using the skills and the knowledge you have acquired to do certain tasks for the company, but because how the company makes you feel, you will not last very long because there is an unmatched vision and the company value between you and the company, then in the end, you will feel pretty exhausted and want to quit. So if you do get rejected because of there is no culture fit, that is actually a good thing because first, the company already validated and recognized your skills and qualifications. And the only thing that is in between you and the offer is just how the company works. Once you have identified this reason, then it actually gives you more confidence as in how valuable you are as a candidate. The second common reason that you get rejected is the intense competition. As nowadays, thousands of thousands of candidates are competing for a role and often just because the sheer amount of options that are available for the company to choose, then you might be outcompeted by other candidates. And there are multiple reasons that you can be outcompeted. First, the level of experience, the depth of knowledge, and how much you know about the company, as well as your personality. And even though you are actually a good fit with the company, but because other candidates have exactly the same as what you have, but on top of that, they have something else to offer, then in this case, you are rejected because for the same amount of salary that the company is going to offer, they are going to get slightly better candidate in that case. So in this case, what you should do is to always find a sweet spot for yourself where there's relatively less competition based on your profile and skills. Usually big organizations as well as companies in banking, finance and consulting industry, these are the highly selective and competitive companies to go into. Generally, they prefer graduates from top 10, top five universities and have demonstrated extremely well in their leadership skills. So if you're someone who doesn't typically fit into this profile and uh, doesn't have extensive amount of internship experience, then you should definitely not go for big companies, especially in these industries. The third reason that you still get rejected, even though you feel like you have done amazingly well in an interview, 
is the wrong timing. And what that means is you submitted your applications way too late. By the time you did your job interview, the company has already decided who to hire or they already made an offer to the person. So this is the biggest shame that I see in candidates because they have amazing experience and they absolutely love the company. There is a strong culture fit between the company and them. And just because they are slightly late into their job application, they miss this opportunity. So in this case, what you should do is always make sure you apply to up to date jobs and uh, don't wait until it's too late. Another pro tip for you as well when you're looking for roles is to make sure always to look for roles that are listed on their website because if you use other third parties like LinkedIn, Indeed, there's always a little bit time delay between them posting the job opening and internally preparing for the job application process. Sometimes when you're seeing a job posting on LinkedIn that has been one week long, what could happen is the company has already decided on hiring, but they forgot to take the post down. So the post is still on LinkedIn and then people are still applying to it, but they didn't know that this post is actually already expired just because the company forget about taking it down. So always refer to the company website as a primary resource to check out job openings. When you get rejected by applications, make sure to figure out exactly why or have a feeling of why they are rejecting you because this is going to give you valuable insights on why they did it and then this could be either internal factors which you can work on or external factors which you cannot control and this will actually give you confidence to say I have done my parts well and the reason I couldn't get a job is because something that I cannot control which is always beneficial when you are going through this hard process. The more you know about what has gone wrong, the more likely you will be successful. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and also check out my other videos on job application where I share tons and tons of tricks and tips on how you can land a job offer. So see you in the next video.